So today, um, I'm going to do the most uh, shitty task on a 240, and that is to do the subframe bushings. Um, uh, i got to crawl under here, replace those little bastards right there. And uh, that's going to be fun. So yeah, as you can see, I put in those collars, and those things are pieces of shit. So you got me some solid, uh, solid ones. So I'm gonna take off the exhaust and all this shit and drop the subframe out and then burn those bitches out. All right, so got the wheel and tire off. Um, disconnected the little uh, strut, coil over. Um, now I'm gonna disconnect the drive shaft and the exhaust and then uh, basically hook up. I got this, this tranny jack right there. Hook that son of a bitch up to it and drop her down, and then uh, maybe maybe set it on fire. So, all right. So I got the jack under there. I got uh, I got all these bolts, or the nuts or whatever, off. Um, drive shaft disconnected, exhaust, all that bullshit. And uh, so now, let's see if this, uh, this guy drops out of here. Trying. So it over here looks like it's trying to bind up on something. Let's see. There we go. Oh shit. Need to uh, disconnect the brakes from it. And then she'll be good. All right, so got the subframe out. Um, I was having an issue with these guys right here, as you could tell. Um, you know, they weren't they weren't that good, so it was clanking and shit. Whenever whenever you'd like clutch it, or whether you know you're cruising at low speeds and you kind of you know let off or downshift or any of that crap. So uh, so yeah, hopefully you know. And then these things they they helped for a little bit. I almost feel like they contributed but yeah you can see how bad the front ones are the back ones are actually pretty decent um, but you know all that shit's gonna come out so So uh, I got one in completely. I wanted to make sure I had the, the process down before I started making videos. But uh, this side, um, well basically you just cut out this, this ring with the, with the little saws on right there. And then, uh, then punch it out and you get, there's like two rings in there. There's like this top one that's all, that's all shitty right there. So you take that off and then, uh, and then the bottom as well. So got that, uh, that piece of crap out, but then there's this extra little, uh, like one that's mushroomed over the top. So you gotta kinda cut it with like a little die grinder right there, and then get the rest of it with the saws out without going too deep to cut all the way through this crap.
And that right there, that's what you don't want to do. And that's what I did. But I might end up throwing a little little weld on the back side of that. But for now, I'm gonna set the uh, top bushing in there. Top one goes in pretty pretty easy. And then the bottom you gotta flip it over and smash it in there. Alright, so uh so I got all the back ones out pretty pretty simple, pretty much the same as the front. Um, so it's a good idea to get this little, you know, brushy. If you don't get it stuck in there like I did. There we go. Just kind of clean out the poo poo on the inside of it. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, it's two flat ones, as you can tell. They they were in the freezer, so they're kind of kind of cold. Those guys just chill right there. Come over here, grab your handy dandy hammer. Give a whack. So that's simple for that side. Let's see if I could hold a good camera angle. Simple for that side. All right. So basically, on this side, um, I got a little half-inch extension on a ratchet, or not on a ratchet, on a on a socket. Um, just because the way the tension rod is in the way right there. Um, this will kind of actually probably need a little bit smaller, smaller socket for that. But yeah, it's be hard to get the. Uh, Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much how you go about getting those things in there. Um, the biggest bitch was this right here. Um, you know that outer sleeve with the little mushroom on the top. Definitely have to take that out. I, I was confused when I first did it. Um, as you can see, there's a little notch right there. Shouldn't be too bad. Um, you know these. This one should slide in. Super duper easy. Um, like I said, see right here, I cut through a little bit of it, so that's not that's not good, but um, I'll probably throw a little bit of a weld right there before I throw it back in the car. Alright, so got uh, got the bushings in there. See them all JDM-like right there. Um, but yeah, those things, uh, you can tell my diffs all... All dirty in the hole underneath of my car is like greasy and shit. It's got its own coat of oil, but but yeah, there uh, there she is. So I'm uh, finally happy those those bastards are in there. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna lower her down. I'm just sweeping up all the all the bull crap around the shop, um, and uh, and that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna lower her down and go test it out. Uh, that's pretty much it for the, the subframe install, uh, the solid bushings. Um, definitely recommend a Sawzall. Um, you don't really need the little angle grinder. Um, and you could actually get away with just a hacksaw if you wanted to. Um, 
I don't really think you need to actually burn the crap out. Um, it definitely makes it a little bit easier, but I just used a, uh, like a drill, um, you know, like when there, when there's a hole or whatever, and you just drill all the rubber out around it and then kind of rock the, the drill back and forth to get all that, uh, that shitty rubber out so you can get those chunks of, uh, of crap out. Yeah, these, these guys right there, so you could get all, all that and you could see where I kind of was drilling down into it and stuff. But, uh, but yeah, um, if you guys have any questions, or if I wasn't too, uh, you know, um, great on that uh, install or whatever, just let me know, and I'll try to uh, add more of a description. Um, if uh, it's the first time you see my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, to all my subscribers, thank you. Um, it's it's awesome to see all the comments and all that stuff, you know, piling up, and then uh, you know the messages and answering questions, which I don't I don't really mind, you know, answering any of you guys' questions. So, um, so yeah. Uh, if you're new, go ahead and subscribe. If you're already subscribed, thank you. Um, and uh, go ahead and, you know, share my channel with all your friends. And um, I'm trying to do do something with it. I'm going to do something a little bit different with my videos. Um, I, I think I'm going to do, like, cheap car challenges and stuff like that. Um, so if you're still watching this damn video, um, let me know what you'd like to see as far as, like, a, like a cheap car challenge. But, but yeah, that's... Uh, that's it for now. And uh, by the way, as far as how they feel, um, before when I'd sit here and like, you know, pull the, you know, the forward and back, and like you could hear it just kind of rocking. And then I had, uh, I kind of laid underneath it one day and, uh, and had, you know, my buddy, uh, you know, like kind of, you know, toot it forward a little bit. And, uh, and you could see the front of the subframe just picking up, even when I had those, those shitty, shitty little spacers in there. So yeah, don't. Don't even fuck with those. Um, honestly, they they didn't do shit for me. It, it seemed like they just wore out the bushings faster. Um, I just go ahead and do the solids. Just I mean, right away. Uh, I mean, I, I could tell a little bit of a difference. You know, just just dicking around out there like I did. Those tires on there are like 205s. Um, so with the with the, the torque or whatever, they just they spin. You just give it gas in second gear and they spin. So I mean, it wasn't like I was out there. You know hassling it like like normally well not really normally but i got like those uh 205 federal 235 federals and those grip pretty good compared to these bastards so these things just kind of spin these are just temporary to get it off the trailer because i used all my tires at the last event but uh but yeah they definitely feel a lot better you could feel the whole ass end of the car is just like solid and you could feel it like you know being predictable other than it kind of having a little bit of play in it you know, with those uh, those other bushings, so so yeah, definitely, definitely, don't dick with the other shit, and just get those. There, you can see, you can see them a little bit better. You can see my shitty. They cleaned up the, yeah, they cleaned up the shit. So, but yeah. The Bushings are, I'd say, 100%, 100% worth it. And that